Before you ask, no, it's not Mega Man 8. <laughs> uh, we're doing a little little thing different, a little bit different. Uh, I recorded Pro Joy Delta. This is a indie game. This is and not Mega Man. Yeah. It's trying to be Mega Man 7. <laughs> and oh lordy, this like game when it first came it. out is very... Uh, Okay, I can understand if you want to set out the game and it's fully done and all, but one, uh, there is no access of a save file in first release. So if, when you beat the game, guess what? You gotta load in to the final cutscene of the game. <laughs> and then, you know, there's no way to replay it unless you delete your save file from Steam or, you know, cut off the Steam cloud service, whatever the hell it's called, <coughs> to play it again. So that's why I had to do it for the original run. But then later on, when I was doing the second run, an actual update came out for this game that actually actually let you save the game and, more importantly, let you actually change the options in the menu. Which is weird that a game doesn't have that options when you first boot it up. <laughs> mm-hmm. bad. So, basically, if you just know... Uh, the Mega Man series. This is this is a love letter to more of the X side of things. Specifically, I think like X one and X seven. What a jump! Um, what a jump! Interesting sides of the coin there. Yeah. As a certified X player, I say, oh, oh. <laughs> no one likes remembering X seven. Well, no one likes to remember playing X7. There's some, there's some couple things they want to remember, such as. Don't be stupid. No, oh, no, that's from Abercrombie. What am I thinking of? I played X7 one time, and did you know it's awful? No, I'm cutting. Uh, <laughs> it is definitely something interesting. It's just the first time around. I don't think it did that well. Fuck this it's, box. It's a, it's box. a lock on. It's, it's just a lock on. Why the box? I think they took that from ZX. Oh my god. While your optimism is encouraging, might I suggest even, even the robot's like, what the fuck are you doing? I suggest the... if you don't stop. So yeah, you have protodroids, which are basically your um reploids. You know, higher advanced uh robots with free will, basically. <laughs> or mimic free will. Can I say, it's kind of awkward to, like, you know, actually, like... It's like, okay, we got both here, the melee option and the shoot function. But, as you're going to see later on, at the time, the only time you need to use melee is when you want to restore your, um... Your bar at the bottom, which also indicates, uh, how many charge shots you can do. Ryan, can I be real with you? Yeah? I've seen you play this game a couple times. Never knew there was a melee option. <laughs> yes, I'm... Because I don't use it after a while. Like, the only time I use it is, again, when I need to build up my bottom bar for more, uh, charge shots. <laughs> because I'll admit, the charge shot is busted in this game. That's why they put it specifically to, like, that bar down there. That's like, oh, you can do three charge shots after that. Oh, eh. oh, I see. That's the X7 inspiration. Yeah. So here it just happens. Also, you know. Jab at the uh, the X series of like, why would Doctor Light leave this capsule here? There, it's almost like it's a level design option. Uh huh. Of, when I see Delta, my first is fucking Sunny Light from Mega Man Fully Charged. <laughs> I mean, hmm. I guess when you point it like that, they are they do wear a lot of like purple as their it, thing, huh? Yeah, it's the Kuroski primarily, and then like, and, like the light hairstyle. I'm like, wait a fucking minute. Hmm. I didn't really think about that till now. Hindsight. Yeah. I, oh, okay, that was weird. Oh, but dude, you can pause. I know, you can pause the game. And then, that you know, change a, That should never be a tutorial feature. Pizza pa! So you can get to make joke with Delta. She kind of takes things a little too seriously. 
that's that's <coughs> just giving your pin chance for humor. I really <sighs> enjoy the You can compare it to Rex. But the thing is, well, X, well, yeah, no, is, I can't compare know, her to X. Like, I'm jumping to another not Mega Man. And I well, hate I'm talking I'm doing in, it. In specific of oh, roles, you. not specifically X is like, you know, oh, yeah, they're clearly parallels as in like, no, X is her inspiration role. What's the other Mega Man style game, Mega Man, then? <sighs> Call from Mighty Number no. 9. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's got the same tone of voice. A little literal in the phrasing. Very stilted. Oh yeah, how you robot? Oh yeah, how you robot human? Uh, stilted up. Good luck with my number nine, Brian. <laughs> <sighs> Tell you when I get past. Uh, oh, I forget. I think it's the electric. Uh, my number. Her, fucking name was. her stage sucks, if I'm being honest. All stages suck. Yeah, but after a while, you get used to it. That one, no. <laughs> Sniper. Uh... You so ain't, yeah, you, you, you'll hate the sniper stage, because that's all done one checkpoint. Mm. What the f uh, I forgot how bullshit that game actually was. Whatever happened to, you know, giving out decent checkpoint uh, spread out, you know? Not in that stage, because it's no. all one big circular loop. Wow. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. I see we're getting some X8 Force medals. What are we going to use that for? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking about the little collectibles picking up. That's our money. Level. Oh, oh we're collecting lots of Zenny. Yeah, we need it for... Uh, what we're going to get is there's, uh, I believe... I'm trying to think. It's a you can buy basically what will be the E tanks. You can buy one that is the um, you know, a full reheal on your uh, second bar down there, and then one that's a magnet. Right. <laughs> so an E tank, a W tank, and item magnet. Yeah. Anyway, can I say fighting enemies with these shields just so like the main point is they want you to use freaking, you know, the melee option to kill those shields. But the problem is some enemies with those shields do a lot of damage. So if you're not like, you know, trying to avoid them, it's gonna you know, it sucks trying to hit them. Yeah. I have to, hmm, I do have to say, just kind of like watching the gameplay, like, I guess not, I don't want to bring up the contemporary too much, but I do like this camera compared to X7s. It's very fluid. Mm -hmm. They're the camera in X7? Yeah. Technically speaking, I would hope parts. so. It would suck if it's only from one point of view, you know, it's no longer <laughs> if a, a camera, then we wouldn't see the game. Yeah. Let me try this again. You can move the camera in X7? Yeah. I've got hopes in those 3D sections. Unless, it is an option. Unless you're doing like fucking like Resident Evil style or some shit, where it's set it is. Thankfully, there's not a level where Mega Man just has to constantly go through doors. Oh, that's in the level? No, we're still in tutorial. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, tutorial. What is this? What is this Mega Man 8 nonsense that's just loading the second half of the stage? Oh, God. Tutorial, I think, <laughs> is like three acts. Freaking. And every other stage is like. Uh, I believe it's like two acts, a mini boss, and the final act. Right. This is just this is just Mega Man Eight again. Are we? Are you sure you're not trying to play Mega Man Eight, Brian? <laughs> no, we're Clearly not there yet. Mega Man Eight. If there was Mega Man Eight, I, we would be balling. We would be balling. No, you'd be, be balling. Ballin'. What? Nah. I'm sure Brian knows how to ball. Right, Brian? Yeah. 
Anyway, like I said, no, you be balling. So, in I believe every act, unless I'm mistaken, uh, there is uh, these segments. They're basically uh, special rounds. Special rounds. This is a training room. And basically, you just go through these, and you'll either get a uh, uh, a weapon extension or a health insta- uh, extension. Yeah. Hi. Hmm. I mean, I, I like the music for him, but it's like, I won't lie. Having the dash and that much free range of, like, you know, of, like, a cooldown of a me, like, you know, as soon as your foot steps on it, you can just dash immediately. <laughs> it's like, it really breaks a lot of this. You would think, like, with a game like this, you would think that would be a power you unlock later, like, a more, like, extended extension to your, you know, your booster and stuff. Yeah, you think so? You, you would think, like, mm. how much more you get, you would think, oh, yeah. So later on, we get an air dash. You, like, I was gonna say, because if you want to upgrade to your regular dash, there's another Meg Man game I could quote that did that. It's called X6. Not like, exactly a great conclusion. Like, the thing with the city, like, and <laughs> it's like, this is a bit too broke of these level design, you think? I like, think it's, like it's fine, because you first have to get used to it. Hmm. If it, it's like half the length of it, we'd be like, okay, this is a lot more, like, challenging, because a lot of us move, 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 move room you do. Well, then, like, there is wiggle room, room, and then there's, like, kind of having enough to be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm skip your uh, level design. Yeah, like... Having like balance, especially when early on, you're like, wait, wait, wait you're like, I oh, guess level one here is now the max distance you can dash you can. Like, okay. Ah, oh, why are these? Why are these not Mega Man games providing you dashes and air dashes that are absurdly overpowered for level design? Because uh, going back to Mighty Number no. Nine, uh, then, uh, then, because at that rate, it's more about just you know giving the player a so, a sense of freedom with the with how far you can dash. They just want the players to have fun. But then also making the level design a bit not not accustomed to some of the distance you can actually make with them. You can though as well. Or you know, make a war make a water level where, where the da- where the ceilings are so high the dash essentially makes you fly. Who's the was that? Cryo stage, Mega Man, uh, Mighty Number Nine. Oh God! You almost said Mega Man Number Nine. Mega Man Number. Yep, Mega I Man. almost did. <laughs> Consider how many times we said Mega Man. Can you blame me? Mega Mighty. Mega Mighty. That sounds like a ripoff from in some like the Mega Man version in Mexico. Bootleg. Mega Mighty. No, uh, that's that's powered up. No, that's a comic. That's, that's like, a that's a comic power up in the, the Archie comics. I'm pretty. No, what? No, no, what? what? Wait, wasn't was was the name of a guy? Wasn't the name of the the the, the little fucker from 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 the Charles? Wasn't it? Mighty. Like Mega Mighty. Was it? I don't know. Oh no, I'm point is I don't want to remember fully charged. Please. It, it, it exists, unfortunately, much to your and everyone else's chagrin. And, and... and it had like a full, like, six episodes as well, we did. Uh... Mm hmm. That's 40 episodes too many. <laughs> Not even a video game to its name. No. It's just a full show with nothing, nothing really tight. It's called Synergy, and they failed to do it. There is, you know, okay, we're taking the aspects of this and making our own thing. But half the time, the ideas are kind of like, why? You know? I do level... appreciate the, the circle under you. Mm. That is a good drop shadow. Yeah. With the level More games that. of st- aesthetic, how different does it get exactly? Yeah? Like this game? Yeah. Aesthetic-wise? Well... Oh, I, for- I I did read the Kickstarter, and they specifically choose, like, a term for it that's, like... I forget what the term is, but it's, like, a combination of, like, nature and machine together. It's, like, Neo-something, I believe. Kickstarter. But, yeah, no, the, the aesthetics get very weird where it's, like, okay, we're here where it's, like, kind of, like, a temple aesthetic. We go to, like, a desert aesthetic. <coughs> like, this is really... Then we get to the uh, this is... one aspect where, basically, it's just freaking, uh, like, uh, here is very much like actual here... city. I mean, here's, 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 like, India type of stuff. That's, like, that part of the region world and stuff and stuff. What? What? Oh. It's a cutscene. Oh, go see what happened. Okay, you, 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 uh, that's weird. I'm seeing two listings for Protodroid Delta on Kickstarter. What? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, here's our not zero of the game. 
Anyway, they're just the, anyway. Oh my God, was that it, was the Pokeball, the, by yeah, the way. Yeah, the fuck is Pokeballs on the wall? Like the water. <laughs> that was the Pokeball sound effect. I caught that in editing. I said, like, "What?" I was like, "Wait the fuck a minute." Well, Pokeball sounds are kind of stuck nowadays. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the words you're looking for might be Solar Punk and Neo Utopia. Solar Punk. Solar that punk? was the one I was thinking of. Solar Punk. And That's a cool term. And Neo Utopia. How often do you hear that phrasing? What makes Not it a really Neo really Utopia? Much. Utopia is what a Utopia is. Yeah, but it's Neo. How do we get New Utopia? I don't know. I, I don't know. Ask Seal. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least if she's so, so, like, you know, in like, you know, of like, from, yeah, Spanish. Yeah. Which Spanish style question, though? I... Well, it doesn't really matter. Mm, the, uh... it, it doesn't really come into effect, but I believe it is like Mexican Spanish. Okay. Well, Not the, like well, Spain. The, well, the the ba the backers' uh, pro uh, headquarters was in Santa Clara, California, so probably oh, Mexican okay. Spanish. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah. Mama, John Richard, mom. Like, uh, okay, well, yes, I mean, yeah. you know, just in case it's not different, you know, like she's inferring to something else. But no, it is literally what it is on the tin. It doesn't really. It just makes your blade green. Yeah. <laughs> That's all it does. I swear. I played this game like three times. I did not know there's a power difference with her uh, melee attack. That's because it's already pretty early, so you haven't oh, found anything that would. Watch, know the power the power Watch the power boost be a percent of a percent. <laughs> it's probably like the, the first whip upgrade in Castlevania 2. <laughs> oh. Used to know. While Android's arrival was most fortuitous, I remain curious about her origins. Where could she have come from? Hmm. The Casa della Dorada. Doctor? One. Seven radios fell in dark knives. Suddenly, one by one, the vipers went up in flames. The rope was credited to La Casa Dora. I recognize Dor Dorada, but I can't. Oh, it's Golden Huntress. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, she explains like, right there. Like, Dorada, that sounds. I recognize that work is that word I do. You'd recognize it if you know the story of El Dorado. Yeah, that's probably that. And also, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! Golden Lord. Eldritch. Of course. It's always going to be Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Eldritch, the Golden of Eldland. And the Eld the Conquistadors and stuff. And Elder Lord. Eld Lord. So much gold. Ah yes, the new boy band. Then perhaps we must do the same. These are very powerful fighters that we will continue seeing throughout the game. I believe I am duty bound to act. I am formidable, Doctor. We should use my power for good. No way. Why must we fight? No, no, that, no, that, that's no. We will fight. <laughs> we gotta fight. We gotta fight, Doctor. Fight for <laughs> force fight. Your life was in danger today. I too cannot bear you getting hurt. Or worse. I always knew you'd become a hero. And you are, albeit a much different one than I imagined. You're right. You just can't go on. It's dangerous. I I believe in you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. I'm assuming the LTA is like, like, a, like a code or some shit within it. Honestly, I don't know because I don't think it's ever brought up. It's just, you know, Delta they, but spelled funny. Because they, they are specifically all high, you know, they're, 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 they're capitalized they are. Mm -hmm. I would assume it's capitalized to make it look striking. It's a stylistic choice. There's no reason to spell it like that. <sighs> 
Yes, yes, we know. It annoys you. It annoys me, too. It's just to be unique. I don't know, maybe there's something later on that actually reveals what it is, but I don't remember. All I know is oh, that yes. it's just... Product Out Twitter 2. Oh, no. It's not like the game already ends with a uh, sequel bait. <laughs> like most indie games tend to do. 